Hi, this is John and Clay with Transmit Direct. Today we're going to talk about the assembly of split units. First we have a split sash. Secondly, we're going to do a unit that has a jam on it that is split. Now, uh, in terms of tools you need for this sash, you're only going to need a number two Phillips uh, head screwdriver and we're going to provide glue and also the uh, screw hardware. So Clay, how are we going to put this together? Well, this is designed to uh, slide together. It's, it's self-fitting. It's got some dowels and it's got some uh, metal straps. And so what you're going to do is first step, get your glue, go ahead and glue this surface where the two pieces are going to join together. Then you're going to pull them together. They will self-align and go ahead and put the screws in, in the open side. And what you'll notice is the screws are designed to pull the parts together even more tightly and the way you'll know that is you'll probably see a little bit of glue squeeze out when you put them together. Now you'll notice there's a side A, A and when you flip it over side B and B match those up because they've been sanded and, and, and assembled in that order. Again six screws total three on each side screws pull it together and once it's assembled, I would suggest letting it sit for maybe a half an hour, an hour. And then at that point, you can just sort of sand the excess glue off and, and you know, level up anything that hasn't, it's not perfectly aligned, but that should only take a minute. And then basically it's ready to go. Okay, so uh, that glue actually chemically bonds the two pieces together. This is gonna be just as, uh, as strong as if it was built one piece after that glue dries. So you do wanna let that glue dry sand it down real good and when you paint it up you shouldn't be able to see this seam at all so that's the sash the sash uh, version of the split transom next we're going to do the one that has a jam so hold on one second we'll put that together okay we're back here now with a transom unit that is split so this is a transom that is in a jam clay how are we going to put that together well uh first thing you'll do is align side a and a b and b Make sure that it's, uh, it's, it's going together the way it was designed to go together. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is get your glue, and we're going to provide that for you. Glue all the wood surfaces that are going to touch each other. Uh, you don't have to overdo it, but it's got to be enough to sort of fill the joints. And then you are just going to slide these two halves together. They are designed to fit snugly. And then as soon as those are in, the first thing you're going to do is put the pocket hole screws in and pull them together tightly. So these are pocket screws, these are uh, square drive. Uh, we're gonna supply these to you. So these are essentially to pull the two halves together so that when they're uh, pulled together, you're gonna see a little bit of uh, glue probably squeeze out. Uh, and that's okay, because you're just gonna wipe that off. Okay, we flip it back over. We have pocket screws on both sides of the unit here. I found it's easiest just to get both pocket screws in place and then you can come in with your your driver. You don't need to you don't really need to hammer these in. They just they just need to be in there enough that they're going to hold the unit together so you can get these uh, Phillips head screws in the straps. So how are we going to do that, Clay? Okay, the next step is to screw the straps in. The straps are also designed to pull the parts together and they will make the unit really really stiff. So once you, uh, <laughs> once you have the halves lined up, just go ahead and there will be three screws on each strap and you will just go ahead and put them in there. Again, they just have to be snug. You don't have to hammer them in. And that side is done. Okay, we'll flip it over here to the next side. Oops, here we go. There you go. All right, same thing. Again, notice the B side. You won't be able to put them together the other way, so you won't really have much choice, but it'll speed you up a little bit to try and get it aligned the first time. And once those screws are in, you wanna let it dry for maybe half an hour to an hour. Then you can sand off any glue that's squeezed out 
and this thing is ready to go. Now I'd let it dry right here on the table, uh, let that glue dry. You can go ahead and wipe it off, flip it over and wipe it off if you need to, but I'd let it dry flat here. Uh, when you get finished after about an hour, you're going to end up with a transom unit that's going to be every bit as strong as if you had bought one that was uh, put together at the factory. So enjoy your transom sash that is split and transom unit that's split. Thanks for watching. Thank you.